A little bit after 10 o'clock in the morning on Monday, May 17th, 2021, I'm out in front of my little studio out here in East Tennessee and wanted to make a quick little video to commemorate and kind of honor something I've, I've noticed out here this morning. Uh, some of you will remember these little benches I made for sitting around my fire pit. Well, as it turns out, they are acting as host to a very special event, something that happens only once every 17 years. These are cicadas, and I've always thought they were very cool looking, very pretty. They're completely harmless, they don't sting, they live off of tree sap, and oh, that one has um, gotten enough strength to, to make a run for it. And here's another one here, there's another one here. Supposedly, oh, there, he ran too. Uh, overnight, they come out of the ground, or they, they spend 17 years in the ground living off of tree sap from tree roots, their larva form, and finally they get up uh, old enough to come out, climb up, and shed their larva skin, and then take this form here. But right when they come out, there's another one there. This one's actually on the grass. Two right there. Right when they come out, they kind of have this kind of gnarled look, like this one here. Their wings are a little dried up, and and um, as they dry and they gain their strength, the sun comes up. Their wings will straighten out and they start to start to fly. But their lifespan after they've reached this point is only a handful of days, less than a week from what I understand. And during that time, they are tasked with finding a mate and um, burying some more larvae to spend 17 years in the ground, come out, shed the skin, and repeat the cycle. Uh, so on those hot summer days when you hear that buzz in the trees it sounds like it's likely a cicada trying to make the best of his handful of days to find a female. It's a long build up to a very short life. And like I said, I've always felt like they were very pretty with their red eyes and the yellow on their wings and that gray body and the uh, caramel colored legs and everything else there. It's, they just look cool. I've taken a walk around here and my benches are really the only place I'm seeing them other than some tufts of grass on the other side of this tree. They've kind of, this, this patch of grass right here, they're kind of attaching to that too. So this tree apparently played host to a bunch of them underground. Now they're climbing out and they like the feel of my benches. There's one. Oh, well, look at this one's on top of the flower. Where'd you go? That one there. Well, that's it. That's all I really wanted to make a video about. Just amazing to me when, when this little guy went to the ground. George W. was still president. Google hadn't yet bought YouTube. People were still uh resisting and slowly switching from their flip phones to their smartphones and people were still complaining about the star wars prequels yeah we actually thought they were as bad as it got 
Hey, little guy. You do your thing. <laughs> Live your best life while you can. And I'm sorry you had to emerge on such a mixed up crazy clown world like it is now. I bet you're ready to climb back into the ground and go back to 2004 or 5 whenever you went down in there. I know a lot of us want to do that too. <laughs> Alright guys. That's it. That's all I really wanted to make a video about. Give me a thumbs up. Talk to you down in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.